I mean, I figured the pair's moved, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpa. It must have been really hard on our parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Van Hoover? But that's so far. It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land and a warehouse to make our jams. We'll get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Pear Butter was devastated, but seeing no way out of it, she did what she had to do. So, that's it? What do you want me to do, Bright Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any pony do. Ponies! We're gonna need one more pony to tell that story. Mayor Mayor, you knew our parents? Not as well as Mrs. Cake, but I did play a part in their love story. The night before the Pear family moved, Bright Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. I don't want to be apart from you, ever. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. I would too. I think that's my cue. I had the honor of officiating your parents' secret wedding, and it was perfect. Bright Mac knew Buttercup wouldn't want a big splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> yep. So they had a special way to seal their vows. I now pronounce you... What is going on? What's with all these hair candles? Hair butter! Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. What are you two doing? Ma, Grandpair, Buttercup and I are in love. What? And we'll be married as soon as Mayor Mayor says, Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Doesn't that feel nice? What are you talking about, married? You two can't be married. Finally, something we can agree on. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving. You gotta stick with your family. But the apples are my family now, too. You can't be serious. Are you choosing to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? Yes, I am. Then yeah, I guess I am. Fine! <laughs> I can't believe Grandpa just up and left Ma like that. No wonder Granny never told us about any of this. These things are never easy. And it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any. To talk to both our grandparents. <laughs>